hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and today's topic is what is underscore error underscore and couple of ways to use it and let's try to understand this through an example in here i have a data step in which i have two variables and two observations and also what i am doing in here is i am using put underscore all underscore what this does is it puts all the variables and its values in the log now let us quickly run this and try to understand it better and in here you can see in the log i have two other variables the first one is underscore error underscore and the next one is underscore and underscore both of these are automatic variables they are created during every data step and they are also temporary variables because they are not written to the data set they are just available during data step processing now i have made a very detailed video on underscore and underscore and link for the same i will give in the description below coming to underscore error underscore it can have the value of either 0 or 1 0 means false 1 means true here we have the value of 0 this means there is no error if we have the value of 1 that indicates that error is there now let us try to go back to our code and look into very similar example but i have added couple of more observations in it in here i have added some character values for val2 val2 is a numeric variable as val2 is a numeric variable whenever we have a character value in here this results in an error because a numeric variable cannot read a character value now let us quickly run this data step and see into our log i have also have put underscore all underscore here here once we run this we can see that for second observation fourth observation and fifth observation we have a missing value and in our log we can see that for our second observation fourth observation and fifth observation we have our underscore error underscore as 1 indicating that there is an error in this observation and also in the note you can see that it tells about invalid data for val2 and we have underscore error underscore for this observation now we know that when we have error we have underscore error underscore as 1 now let us try to understand how we can use this now let's get back to the same example and let's try to understand the data step in here in here what i am doing is i am writing a conditional statement wherein i am saying if underscore error underscore equal to 1 then do an output and name the data set as error underscore records else to have all the records which are correct records by this way i can identify which observations have an issue where there was error and also i can collect those records which do not have error i think we also need to add output in here now let us quickly run this data step and see our results in here we can see that error underscore records we have three observations where val2 was missing whereas in the case of correct records we have two observations where everything looks fine this way what we can do is we can separate records which had issues rather i would say error and records which do not have any errors that is one way you can use underscore error underscore and the next way you can use this is whenever you see an error you can stop your data step processing for that all i need to say if error underscore error equal to 1 then stop what this will do is once it sees any error it stops the data step processing completely 
Now let us quickly run this data step and see our results. Here you can see that after one observation was read because there was an error in the second observation, the whole process has stopped. It has not read every other observation. So these are couple of ways you can use underscore error underscore one is for tracking what all the records have issue. The second one is once you see an error, you can stop your data step processing. That's all for this topic. If you like this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Thank you.